What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you dropped by today because today I have another special edition of Life with Donna Vlogs. And if you are new, I want to welcome you to my community here on YouTube and encourage you to not leave without clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. You know, I really created this channel to see you flourish in every area of your life and really help you grow in your relationship with God. You know, that is one of my top priorities here on Life with Donna Vlogs. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So I want you to know that I take all of your comments into consideration. And anytime that you request a video from me, I really try my best to fulfill that video and put it up on my channel as soon as possible. So comment down below, give me your suggestions because really this is a community that I created here on YouTube and I can't do it without you guys. So thank you for stopping by. And today's vlog is a very special one because it is one that the Lord really laid on my heart recently. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about his attributes. You know, who is God? You know, at the core of who God is, there are certain attributes that he has that really help us, you know, when we're going through a trial or a tribulation of some sort. And we really need to dig deep within ourselves and within the majesty of who he really is, you know, which is really important. So if you want to learn my favorite attributes of God, please keep watching this video. The first attribute I wanted to talk about is God is omnipotent. God is omnipotent. And what does that mean? That means he is all powerful and there is nothing that he cannot do. And so whenever he says he's going to do something, you can take it to the bank that he will do it. He will accomplish it. And I think it's important to think about that in the times that we're living in today because maybe you feel like there's something that you're waiting on God to do and you haven't seen the fruition of that dream or that accomplishment that you have been praying for or maybe God has revealed to you. And I want to encourage you that God is all-powerful and what he started in you, he will finish until the day of completion. I love what Psalm 147.5 says. It says, Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. And I love that because sometimes, you know, what we in our human minds, in our capacity of thinking, think about or what we know to be true in our world is not true in God's world. It's not true in His omnipotence. And so I want to encourage you with that, that maybe you, you don't see the fruition of the plans that God has for you, but sit tight and wait and hold on and believe with all your heart that he is all powerful and that he will complete what he started inside of you. Attribute number two, God is omnipresent. What does that mean? It means that God is everywhere at all times. And so, you know, sometimes when we go through really deep valleys or are walking through really big hurdles, we feel like we are all alone. And I want to encourage you that God never left your side. You know, he is closer than a brother. And when we go through really difficult things, he is right there with us. Even when we don't feel that he is there, he is always there because he is omnipresent. And so that is very important to know and to think about when we're going through and facing these trials because we need to know that we are not alone in the process. God is by our side 100% of the time. And I love what David said in Psalm 139 verses seven through eight. He said, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. This scripture right here is living proof that no matter what we face or what we may go through or where we will go, God is always with us. God is a just God. And I love that our God is a God of justice because when I think about justice, I think about what is embedded in our human nature. I think I don't know any human being that doesn't love justice to be served in situations. I think we all love justice deep down inside. And the reason we do is because we were created in the image of God. You know, so when we want justice to be served, it's because the 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 great I am, you know, the the very nature of our God is living inside of us. So naturally, because he is a just God, we want to see justice, you know? And another thing I wanted to point out is when people say only God can judge me, they're actually telling you the truth, you know, because it is true. Only God can judge 
the world. And one day we will all be judged, you know, so we need to remember that as we walk through this life, that all of our actions will be taken in, into account on the day of judgment. And so it's very important that we think about that in the back of our mind. And are we living lives that are honoring God? You know, I love what Psalm eighty nine fourteen says. It says, righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. And I love that so much because we know that we serve a right and just God. He is a God full of justice. And that is the foundation of his throne. Isn't that so beautiful? I love that so much. Attribute number four, God is merciful. Our God, He is a loving and compassionate God. He is a God that we can trust on, that we can rely on. And even when we are faithless or we don't fulfill our end of the coin, we know that He will always fulfill His end of the, of the coin. And He will always do exactly what He said He's going to do. He is a merciful God. And I'm so glad that God doesn't look at my sin. He looks at Jesus. And he sees Jesus in the midst of all of my mistakes and all of the things that I fail at every single day. He doesn't look at that. He sees Jesus inside of me. And I'm so grateful for that love. You know, are you grateful for that love today? And I love that his mercy doesn't depend on my actions because I know that every single day I fail him. But it, it is exactly who he is. It is his character. I love what Romans 9, 15 through 16 tells us. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. It does not, therefore, depend on human desire or effort, but on God's mercy. And that is good news, ladies and gentlemen, because there's nothing that we could do to earn it. It is just who he is. Attribute number five, God is holy. He is a holy God. That is his very character, his nature. That is who he is. And I think that's part of the reason why he wants holiness out of us. You know, if we want to call ourselves children of the Most High God, of the Holy God, he expects us to be holy as well. He cannot sin for it is against his very nature. Sin is against God's nature. He is a holy God and he is perfect in every way, shape and form. He is pure. His love is pure. His love is endless. And, you know, we can trust him. And I believe, too, that when we partake in holiness, we are being joined together with Christ. We are united with him in love. You know, I love what Psalm 96, 9 says. It says, worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. So every time we worship him, we can think about that. We can imagine how holy he is and how worthy to be praised he truly is. Attribute number six, God is love. His love is perfect. His love is unconditional. It is perfect in every way, shape, and form. There is nothing that we did to deserve His love, but He gives it to us freely. You know, His love is patient. His love is kind. It keeps no record of wrongs. He loves you and me so much, so much so that He was willing to lay down His life, go to the cross through Jesus, a perfect man who knew no sin, and lay down his life for you and for me so that we could attain eternal life one day. And I love that so much that my God would do that for me even though I was so undeserving of it. I love what John 15, 13 says. It says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Attribute number seven, and one of my favorite attributes of God, is that God, our God, is faithful. You know, He is faithful even when we are faithless. You know, when we don't have anything to stand on, when we can't get a grasp on life, He is still faithful to us, no matter how many times we fail Him over and over and over again. And I think in times of crisis, it is a time to stand on the promises of God and believe what the Word of God says. If you truly believe what the Word of God says, you will stand on His promises and you will believe what the Word says and apply it to your everyday situation. The Word of God says that God is faithful. He is faithful even when our faith wavers. Even when we don't believe, He is still faithful to us to fulfill His promises and to do everything that he said in his word because he cannot lie. It goes against his very nature. 
And so I want to encourage you that maybe you don't see the fruition of, of the dreams and the desires that you want. Maybe this quarantine situation really has you feeling down. But I want to encourage you that now is a time to stand on the promises of God and believe what the Word of God says. You know, the Word of God says in 2 Timothy 2.13, If we are faithless, He remains faithful, for He cannot deny Himself. And it is such a poignant reminder that no matter what we may be facing, our God is still faithful. He is faithful to fulfill every dream. He is faithful to meet every single need that you have, you and your family may have. He is faithful to do exactly what he said he was going to do. And I know that it is. I am not the only one that can look into the camera and say that There are things that I'm still waiting for God to do. But I know that my God, He is a faithful God and He will complete it. If He can do it for me, I know that He can surely do it for you. Amen? So I want to ask you today, will you allow the Word of God to penetrate deep within your heart and take you out of this barren season? Because I believe that this is what it is. It is a barren season, but I also believe that this will turn around for our good. You know, God is in control, you guys. And I want to remind you that no matter where you find yourselves, you need to just dig deep within yourself and find the word of God living inside of you. You know, recite the scriptures over yourself, over your family, and believe that this too shall pass. I believe it with all my heart. And this is a time for all of us to just get to know him more. Get to know him more and really dig deep within our word and find out what the Word of God says about us. Do you know Him today? His name is Jesus, and He wants a relationship with you. Well, that is all for today's video. I want to thank you so much for tuning into Life with Donna Vlogs. And again, if you are new, do not leave without clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell right there so that you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. You're not going to find anything but inspiration. And really, I want to encourage you to grow in your relationship with God. And so subscribe today and also let me know what your thoughts are. Did this bless you in any way? Did this really encourage you? I would love to know your comments. Would you comment down below and let me know? Would you share with me a suggestion for my next vlog? And who knows, you may just see it on the next vlog, okay? So thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I love you. Have a great one. Bye.